Hey YouTube, have you ever tried to um, export a video um, from any application apart from the Apple Pro applications and you realize that Apple ProRes um, isn't there? Well, here's a quick fix to solve that problem. So if I press uh, here working in Adobe Premiere and I want to export this video in Apple ProRes HQ, which is what I normally like to do, and I go to export, I go to video codec, and as you can see, Apple ProRes seems to be missing. So let's cancel this and just save this project and quit it. Now, if we go online and uh, we need to go to this website www.timdug.com forward slash unpkg forward slash. And once we go to here, we need to download this software here. Should be fairly straightforward, and you see it's popped up here. Now, what we need to do is open this up and open this software here. Hit open, and it says drag package file to this window to extract. Okay, so now we can close this. Now we need to do a search on Google for pro video formats and we can go directly to the Apple um, support page which is here you can see I've been in it already and then what we can do now is just download the pro video formats 2.0 which includes all of these right here so let's download that it shouldn't be a big file Bingo. Then we can close this, and what we need to do is go to the downloads, open this up, and now if we double click on this, what's going to happen is it's going to try and install it, but it's going to try and find one of the pro video um, applications on your system. And if you don't have these, this is obviously going to be a problem, so the installation is going to fail. So what you need to do is take this PKG file and drag it into this piece of software and it will actually unpack it. And once it's unpacked it, you can close this, you can close this, and you can actually quit this. And we can open up this and these are in fact the ProRes formats. Apple ProRes bundle. video format we can go to QuickTime all the components are here so now what we need to do let's make this open up a new finder tab hit go go to folder and underscore um, forward slash library forward slash QuickTime hit go and you'll come to this now you can see here is the Apple ProRes component and we cannot see it in us on our system folder so let's take all of these and just drag and drop. We'll authenticate that. Okay, now we can see this is looking a, a bit more full. Now what we need to do is again open a new tab, go, go to folder, and this time we're gonna go to video and in the professional video workflow plugins video professional workflow plugins we need to copy these over again we'll authenticate that let's replace apply to all there we have it now I'm gonna open up premiere we'll just open up that dummy project again and now when we go to export we go to video codec and we can see all the Apple ProRes actually appears and we can successfully export in Apple ProRes without actually having the pro applications installed on our devices thanks YouTube